Thank you very much, fellow compatriots. We are here in Lulawayo with hundreds and hundreds of young people commemorating the day of the African child. We know particularly well that we have a task to remember and honor those who were fighting in the Soweto uprisings. But also this comes as a reminder to young people in Zimbabwe who are faced with the plebiscite and election for them to rise up, to mobilize, to conscientize, for them to participate overwhelmingly because the future is young, but if we don't grab it and if we don't claim it, then we have lost it. Comrades and combatants, the Soweto uprisings in the late 1970s is a clear indication that we have a task in Zimbabwe. You know that the establishment has failed. You know that they offered lies, they offered uh, propaganda, they offered distortions, they offered misinformation. They say five things, for example, number one, Zanu PF was there to say that it will generate electricity at least 3,000 megawatts at a demand of 2,200, but it did not. The establishment, fellow combatants, said it will build 78 hospitals, and one of each hospital was supposed to be located in a different district, but that did not happen. You know particularly well that they lied, that they will maintain an average inflation rate at 6%, and also make sure that they promote industrialization to around 90%. Did that happen? That did not happen. Fellow combat in 2018, the Zandu PF manifesto was clear that it would give the youth jobs. But there are no jobs for the youth. We know that young people are suffering and are failing to get employment. We know particularly well that young people who are here in Zimbabwe are struggling. So this is a call to act. It's a call for us to use the power of the ballot to mobilize and recruit all forces to make sure that we come together. And here in Chawalala, this is just a statement to the regime, the authoritarian regime of Emerson Namzundangago, that the youth are coming for you. This election is going to be youth-led. This election is going to be an election which shows the aspirations of young people, the desires that they have been needing to have. Combatriots, we are there and we know that even 1.5 million households that were promised in 2018 by Zanu PF were not even built.